So I'm going to show you how to get started making your blend page for your virtual lessons. And so I'm in my sandbox. You'll probably be on a classroom home page. And you're going to go down to modules. And when you click modules, you're going to create a new module. I already have some set up for things that I'm working on. I'm going to title this one our classroom 2021. And then I'm going to add a module. And so when I'm on here, I'm going to create a page. And to do that, you're going to click this plus button. And I'm going to, on this drop down menu, click add a page. And I'm going to click a new page, and this is going to be our classroom 2021 home page, so I can find it easily. And so I'm going to work on that one page because I want to make it really easy for the kids and parents to be able to navigate. So now that you've got your home page set up, what you're going to do before you actually edit is add your files to here so that you can be able to upload them and create your pages. You might have made your files and your buttons and banners in Canva or in PowerPoint or in Google Slides, whatever method you use. Once you have a JPEG or a PNG file, some kind of image saved, you're going to add it directly in to Canvas or Blend. So you're going to go on the left hand side and you're going to click Files. And I'm going to want to make sure this is easy for me to find. So I'm going to make a new folder. And you're just going to click that plus folder button up here. Name your folder. I'm just going to name it Class Sample 1. Click the check button. Then open that folder up. Now wherever you've saved your files, you can upload them and find them. Or you can drag and drop them. I've got all the files I want here. And so I'm just going to copy them all. And I can drag and drop them right in there. And so I've already got them labeled so I know what I'm looking for. And this will automatically upload. All my files have been uploaded. So now I can click back to modules. I'm going to go back to that home page. And now up at the top, there's an edit button with a little pencil on it. I'm going to click edit. When I click that edit button, what I'm going to do is start inserting my images. To do that, you're going to look for that little image page. It says embed image. Click on that. And you can embed an image from a website, from Flickr. I find it easy just to upload it so that everything's in one place. So I'm going to go to Canvas, a sample. So where I put my files is still there. I'm going to look for my welcome banner. And then you can just leave it the way it is, or you can adjust the size on here. I'm pretty sure I'm OK with the size, so I'm just going to click Update. And then I'm going to move it and align it to the middle just because I like, I like everything to be centered. And so I'm going to click down. And the buttons that I'm going to want on here, I'm just going to make a quick landing page that has week one, week two, week three. So nothing really complicated. So you can have your, say, class assignments, class calendar, journal, whatever you decided your buttons are going to be. And I'm just going to go back and repeat that process. Click the image button. Click Canvas. Find my file with my full files in it and I'm going to click week one. Unfortunately you have to do this one at a time. You can't do it multiply but once you've got it done you don't have to do it again. And I know that this size is going to be too big for me so I'm actually just going to change the dimensions and it'll automatically change the aspect ratio so you don't have to worry about the other one. And that's a that's a good size button for me. And so I'm going to click down. I'm just going to have them all in a row. Let me repeat that process. change my ratio and I'm doing 200. I think that gives you a good size button. Now that I've got my banner or my welcome banner and then my week button, I'm going to just save it just to see what this looks like if I'm okay with this. So I've got welcome to class week one, week two, week three. If that's okay with you and however you decide to create your page, that's fine, go back and click edit, and now we're actually gonna work on linking the pages. So I've got all three images uploaded here, and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna just check to see if that's what I like, so I'm gonna click save to see what that landing page looks like. And so I've got week one, week two, and week three. I might actually add a little space in there just so that it looks 
and you can just add some space. And what I'm going to do, and this is before you leave to create the other pages, I'm actually going to work on creating them just from this edit page. So when the parents or the kids click on week one, you're going to want to highlight that. And I'm going to come over to this pages in the links section on the right hand side. When you click pages, you can scroll down and link to a new page. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to say week one and I'm going to actually, I'm going to title it class 2021 so that everything stays the same week one and I'm going to click insert link. I'm going to do that for each of these. Scroll down to this one, same thing. So I know where to find them. Then I'm going to click save. My landing page is done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that first week because remember we're creating everything off of that first page. So when I click on it, it's going to tell me it actually doesn't exist, but I can make it right now. So what I want to do is I want to add on week one, I made the buttons for the days of the week. So I'm going to add the Monday image and I think I'm going to change the size here. Perfect. 300 was good. And I want them, I'm going to put them in rows so that it's easier to navigate and you can adjust your pixel size here. Once I have all of them, if I want them, I can adjust them so that they're all in the center of my page, whatever you decide that you want on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the lesson linked to another page. So same thing as before. I'm going to click on the tab, click pages, add a new link, then I'm going to put week one Monday so that that's going to link to a new page. I'm going to do that for all of these so that they all have their own page. Now you can have this every day and every week and change this, or you can change it every week. I want to make it so that it's all in one spot and I don't have to keep recreating anything. But you can also erase every week and add a new week to keep it a little less confusing for parents and probably the kids, especially the younger ones, it'll be easier for them to just have one place to go. And then when you're done with all of that, I'm actually going to add a home button that I made. And so it is in my images. I'm going to put it on the right hand side. And I'm going to come here and look for it. And I've got this little image that just says click home and it's just very visual so that kids can use it. And I'm going to link it to the classroom home page. That's why I identified it as a home page so that when I have to look for it in all my pages, I can find it really easily. And then I'm going to click save. So now if I want to go back, I can click home and it'll take me right back to here. And that's how you kind of upload and edit all of the images so that you can create your own landing pages. I hope you found this helpful.